have a cuppa. You can make a start on the fence posts and I'll check the weed. I'll meet you, Kay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I forgot about that one with Robert coming back. Well, I could give her a ring. No, no, it's all right, son. You get changed. I can manage. So what do you think? It's like Zoe said, it's uh, muscle damage to his near right quarters. How bad? It looked quite severe, but I won't know exactly how bad until we get the results of yesterday's blood test back. So what are we saying? A day, two days? Yeah, at least two days. Look, I, I know this isn't what you want to hear right now, but I think it's only fair to warn you that stallion may never cover another mare. In which case we can all pack up and go home, can't we? Doesn't seem to be up yet. Not much change there, then. Oh, come on, he's trying. It's great to see the pair of you mates again. Don't have the world a good going to Spain. Have you hanged on yet? Last night. What's she said about him coming back? She said he didn't tell her. Well, either she's confused or he's lying. But why would he do that? You tell me. What's going on? Um, Gran didn't seem to remember what you told her. Yeah, well, I told you. She's an old woman. She started to forget things. She's saying she's gone senile. No, I'm not senile. Just losing the memory a bit or so. Are you, um, are you saying I should be worried? I don't think so. I mean, she's got all the marbles. She just finds it hard to remember things, that's all. Comes with age, Dad. Be you next. Is she safe? She's fine. She's got loads of friends. People are always popping in for this and that. Won't worry about it. Right. He's looking a lot happier now. That's lovely. Thank you. Bye. Do you know how long I've been waiting out there? It's an open surgery. The more people there are, the longer you have to wait. Well, I would have thought in the circumstances I might warrant some sort of priority. Well, now you're here. What do you want? Well, the results, of course. Why else would I queue out there with that rabble? I only did the scan yesterday. They won't have found out anything yet. It takes time. Well, I don't have time. That animal represents a considerable part of my annual income. I need to know now. Well, I'm afraid you're going to have to wait like the rest of us. And I'm just as worried as you are, you know. Oh, really? I wouldn't have known. What's that supposed to mean? If you really were concerned, if you put the right man in charge of the operation in the first place, then this wouldn't have happened. You were singing his praises last week. Yes, well, we didn't have one of our major assets hobbling about in a loose box last week. Because you took it out against his better judgement. Is that what he said? Oh, come on, Tara, we both know this isn't about Andrew. What is it about, then? Virginia. Isn't it? Actually, no. No, it isn't. It's about efficiency. He made no objection to me exercising that animal at all. Oh, and in case you've forgotten, it was actually Virginia who had him on the lunging rein when he went lame, not me. You can hardly blame Virginia. Now, I'm not trying to. I'm saying that I wasn't aware that Lady Killer had anything wrong with him. Do you think I would have taken him out if I had known? I suppose not. <sighs> he should have told me, and he didn't. It's as simple as that. You're saying he didn't tell you? Yes, I am. You'd better find out why he didn't. Oh, don't worry. I will. Next. So where is it you're going exactly? Hotton. I'm after a house. What do you mean? Bev's old place. It's been empty since she left, and just do for me and Carlos. Oh, so you've decided to move in together. Well, it's about time we had a place of our own. I'm sick of having to live my life in other people's houses. It's a big step. Well, we're both ready for it. Are you buying it? No, renting. What do you think I am, made of money? You must be very excited. Oof, you what? Just me and him in our own little love nest. I bet he can't wait. Oh, he doesn't know anything about it yet. Where's the surprise? But he does want to live with you. <laughs> of course he does. You don't think I'd go to all this trouble without checking, do you? Suppose not. Mm. Blow his mind when he finds out about this. See ya. So come on, then. Who is she? Are you following me? No, I'm just interested. You made all that stuff up about Grand, didn't you? No. Well, when I last saw her, she were fine. Yeah. Well, she's not now, is she? Hey, up. 
It was this then. Just leave it, okay? No problem. It's about to come and meet you. Yeah, well, Mum offered so. Hi, Bob, are you okay? Yeah. Fine, thanks. You don't recognise me, do you? I don't think I'd forget if I'd met you before. Katie Adaman? From school, the year down from you. Sam Adaman's sister. Very safe. Come on, best be off. Oh, what's the rush? I'm from the sign, say hello to my dad. I don't think so. I might see you later. Yeah, why not? Marlon, still here then? Wanted to catch you last night. Have a word. A bit late for words, wouldn't you say? Look, the way I heard it, you were the one who decided to leave. So you saw your chance and took it, yeah? No, it wasn't like that. What was it like, then? I needed a job, Marlon. So you took mine? No. When I accepted the offer, there was nobody doing it. Yeah, well, thanks for stabbing me in the back, mate. I'll do the same for you someday. Marlon. <sighs> Giving you a hard time? Oh, I can cope. You can do more than that, mate. You can cook. I was more than happy with your performance last night. Thank you. And don't go blaming yourself for his misfortune. He brings it on himself. You OK? Still adjusting. I know how uh, difficult it must have been coming back. It's fine. Really. Spain gave me a lot of time to think. Work some stuff out, you know. Yeah, well, I'm glad you're back, son. It wasn't easy for me with you away. I had to go, Dad. I know. But... <sighs> I lost one son when Jackie died. I honestly don't think I could bear the thought of losing another. Don't worry. You'll never lose me. I'll always be there for you. And me for you. Well, this isn't getting any work done, is it? Uh, why don't you uh, nip down to the village and catch up with Andy? I'd say three's a crowd, wouldn't you? <laughs> Maybe you're right. And if it's all the same with you, I thought I'd hang round here. Give you hand if you like. You don't have to. I might as well make myself useful. Especially seeing as my brother's otherwise engaged. <sighs> OK, let's get stuck in, eh? <laughs> and as this matter is now of some urgency, I would appreciate some confirmation of this by return of port. Virginia, I need to speak to Andrew. Of course. <clears throat> in private. Look, Zoe, whatever Tara's been saying, this wasn't anything to do with Andrew. It was her decision to exercise Lady Killer. Yes, thank you. I'll speak to you later. Go on, Virginia. It'll be all right, don't worry. Bit dramatic, wasn't it? Not when you consider the future of that stallion's looking rather bleak at the moment. That had nothing to do with Virginia. Apparently they had him on the lunge when he broke down. Could you tell me why that was? <sighs> I didn't want Tara to take him out in the first place, but I was overruled. She's the owner, you know. You're the manager. Why couldn't you have stopped her? Oh, come on. How could I have done that? When those horses are on these premises, they are your responsibility. Well, tell her that, then. That was your job. I honestly don't know what my job is anymore. Well, I've got you and Chris interfering at every turn, Tara sticking her nose in whenever she feels like it. Did you tell her you didn't want her to exercise Lady Killer? Yeah, and she took no notice. So you're saying it's all her fault? Oh, yeah. Did she know that you'd been unwell? No. No, I didn't get a chance to tell her. Can I ask why? Because she was going at us like a banshee. You know what she's like when someone tells her what to do. So you didn't tell her to go easy with him? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I did. I can't remember. Andrew, that is not good enough. Did you or didn't you? Well, under the circumstances, probably not. What I can't understand is why you didn't ring me earlier if you knew there was something wrong with the damn animal. At the time, I didn't think the situation was serious enough. Well, that could be a very costly mistake. I was going to ring you if the situation deteriorated. But in my professional opinion, the horse was in no danger. I see. She's obviously holding me responsible. Of 
course she is. And so am I, because whatever the circumstances, you had no right to entrust exercising that horse to those two, whoever owned him. Seems all right, your brother. You reckon? Well, he were friendly enough. It can be when it suits him. He wasn't exactly having a go at you, was he? That's because you were there. So, he's still giving you a hard time? Well, he's not about to bury the hatchet, if that's what you mean. Else it's in the middle of my back. It's a bit over the top, isn't it? You think so? What exactly is it we eat it? Well... I'm not Jack's real son, am I? And what are you saying? That he resents you? Just a bit. But why if he's the real son? Because Jack gets on a lot better with me than he does with him. That's what this is all about. But he didn't seem the jealous type. Oh, that's just his little game, though, isn't it? Trying to cut me out getting with Dad. Maybe you should be helping him. I've tried that. He just doesn't like me. You know, I want us all to get on. It means a lot to me, a family. I know it does. Do you think it's because what happened to your mum? I don't want to talk about that. Oh, Andy. Oh, Andy, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Andy. Me and all, it's just sometimes. Bernice, same again. Are you sure? Nothing else to do, have I? Well, that depends. Just fill it up, Bernice, OK? Doesn't have to be the end of the world just cos you've lost your job, you know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, let's get something straight, right? I didn't lose it, I walked out. Still no reason to get legless halfway through the day. Look, I'm sorry, the last thing I want now is motherly advice, OK? I'm not offering you motherly advice. I'm offering you a job. Hey? Cooking. In here. We need somebody. I'm no good at it. You can say that again. I can't work here. Why not? What? Because I'm supposed to be working at Shea Marlon. That's why not. Well, you've just walked out of Shea Marlon, haven't you? And if I know Rodney, is not liable to have you back after that. She's right. He can be as stubborn as you are when it comes to a fight. Oh, I don't know. What have you got to lose? <sighs> Nothing, I suppose. Look, I'm not offering you a year's contract, and it might just be one in the eye for Rodney. Yeah, it might at that. OK. When do I start? Now. Right now? Why not? Why not indeed? Yeah. Well, that's one problem sorted. Yeah, and you get one over on me dad. Always an attractive proposition. Mm. Well, now that Marlon's cooking, you can stay here and I can go and put my feet up. Use the back room. No, it's OK. I've got a bit of shopping to do as well. See you later. Good-looking lass, Katie. Yeah, she's pretty fit. I've only met her a couple of times, but she seems like a nice kid. I think he's quite taken with her. Yeah, I think so. You don't have to do this, you know. It's OK, I'm fine. Yeah, well, just say if you don't want to. <laughs> Look, just shut up and get on with it, will you? <laughs> Keep it going. Come on. Right, OK. Well, I'm glad I can still make you laugh. Well, I'm not laughing at you. Oh, yeah. OK, well, I am a bit. I'm really laughing because I'm happy. I mean, you're back, you're here, helping. And you're making a real effort. My life's too short to bear grudges. <laughs> you and Andy bury the hatchet, then? I think so, yeah. Good. More important things to do in my time than dwell on all that. Absolutely. Shall we get on? Yeah, well, we'll just sort that and then we'll go and get a bite to easy, eh? So, mozzarella and tomato bruschetta with rocket and mixed leaf salad. Diana said I wanted a cheese sandwich. That's as near to a cheese sandwich as Marlon's prepared to go. What about what you were cooking? Not anymore. We've got a real chef now. So, can you honestly tell me you'd rather have a slice of cheese between two pieces of white bread than a taste of Tuscany? Diane, it does depend on how much it costs, doesn't it? Same price. 
Oh, that's all right then. Sold. She's as good as called me a liar. Just calm down. Pint of bitter and a dry white wine, please, Diane. Coming up. I can't believe the pair of them are ganging up against me. Well, I don't think they are. There's no love lost between Tara and Zoe. So what did she say to you? Just asked me to go over my story again. Exactly. They're trying to nail us. I don't see how they can. I mean, I told her what happened and that it had absolutely nothing to do with you. She said I shouldn't have let Tara loose with Lady Killer. Well, she owns him. How could you stop her? That's what I said, but she'll not have it. She said I should have stopped her. Well, I'd like to have seen her try. Well, it's irrelevant. Someone's going to have to pay for this and they're both going to make sure it's me. Somebody to see you. Thanks. Denise! I've got a message from Ashley. I hope I'm not disturbing you. Uh, no. Orange coat's ready. Table five. Yeah. Oh, and two creme brulees and a tart citron for table seven, please. I had to see you. I'm working. There are people coming in and out. <laughs> You're crazy, you know that. Come to the vicarage when you finish. What about Ashley? He's out. Oh, OK, but go, please, go. You will come. Yes, of course I will. Charles! Surprise! Oh, hello. Hi. Well, I'd better leave you to it. Yeah, and tell Ashley I'll call in on my way past. OK. Hmm. What's this, some secret liaison? You two timing me with Ashley? <laughs> yeah, and a pair of trainers and a tracksuit. Hmm, that's all right, then. Oh, I'd better be getting off. Bye. Aren't you pleased to see me? Yeah, of course I am. <laughs> hey, you've no time for that, Carlos Diaz, and they're still waiting for that chicken supreme at table three. OK. And you shouldn't be disrupted as chef at work, missus. Two chicken supremes with coriander. Thank you. Mm. Mm. You smell a perfume. That must be Benice's. We keep bumping into each other, you know. Well, as long as that's all you do. <laughs> I'm too busy to do anything else. <laughs> OK, I'll leave you to it. But I want you straight back home as soon as your shift finishes. I've got a little surprise for you. I don't know what time that'll be. Well, just don't keep me waiting. I haven't seen you all day. <sighs> oh, fucking hell. What a day. You always try and keep you talking when you're trying to get away, don't you? Yes. Any more news on that stallion? No, not since you... Oh, thank you. Saw him this morning. Um... Did uh, Andrew say anything to you, by the way? No, only that he thought it was Tara's fault. I'm afraid it's not that simple. He's admitted he knew there was something wrong with the horse before he let her take it out. You sound like him. Oh, I know. I always found him very professional. And he's done a tremendous job of pulling that stud back together. And Until Tara turned up, that is. Well, he shouldn't have let her anywhere near those animals, Paddy. Well, it's a bit difficult seeing as she owns him, isn't it? No, it's not. He's in charge. He should have put his foot down. Oh, so you found him guilty as charged then, now, have you? It's not something I'm enjoying, Paddy. I know. I'm sorry. I know Tara's at fault, but if Andrew's been careless in any way, in any way at all, he's going to have to answer for it. Ah, the Wanderer returns. Uh, been anywhere nice? Um, ended up in on the pictures. Any good? It was all right. Oh, I don't suppose it matters what you see, as long as you're with a good-looking girl. <laughs> hey, hey, steady, steady on. <laughs> he's chasing me. Oh. Both my lads chasing young ladies today, then, eh? Where have you been? Just round and about. Well, it's time you're upstairs having a bath and getting ready for bed, young lady. I haven't had any tea yet. Well, when you're all nice and clean, it'll be ready for you. Come, get over with it. I want Robert to take me. Uh, well, Andy usually takes you. I want Robert. Andy? That's all right. Be a nice change for her. Come on, then, Miss Riggles. Thanks, son. No problem. She needs to get used to him again. Where have you been? I was expecting you an hour ago. Sorry, love, I got way late. Well, I ran work. They said you left at half four. No, well, I had to go into Hotton. We ran out of fresh herbs. Well, Chloe never said when I rang. Well, Chloe's a waitress. I do the buying. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You're here now. So, sit down and have a drink and prepare yourself for the surprise of the year. You cooked me dinner. <laughs> No, silly. It's more than that. I've got us somewhere to live. I've got us a house. Eh? And the really good news is we can move in tomorrow. Oh, hang on. What do you mean you've got us a house? What house? Oh, Bev's in the village. Dad put up the money for the rent, and that's why I was in Hotton earlier. Yeah, but we can't. We can. It's all signed and sealed. Well, you can unsign it and unseal it. I'm not moving into a house that your dad's paid for, especially now I'm working for him. 
<laughs> Don't be daft. Of course you can. I'm sorry, Nicola, but if I move into a house, it'll be one I paid for, not your dad. But it's all fixed. I thought you'd be pleased. Pleased? Please, what were you thinking of? You get money from your old man and rent a house without even telling me. I'm sorry, Nicola, but I'm going nowhere. It's just not happening, OK? They're all in bed? Yeah. What's up? You lost someone. No. Nice-looking girl, that Katie. I don't need your approval. Yeah, I was just trying to be friendly. That'll be the day. She, uh, You know, fit. Don't know what you mean. I don't have to spell it out, do I? Well, you do if you want an answer. OK. Is she a good thing or what? Don't push your luck. What's up, Chi? Yeah, very. Yeah, I'm sorry. Didn't mean anything by it. Yeah. What are you doing anyway? Sleeping downstairs. What for? Well, I'm a bit choosy about who I share a room with nowadays. <laughs> it's a bit childish, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you'd know all about that, wouldn't you? And what's Dad gonna think when he finds you tomorrow? Don't know. I have to ask him. You don't mind destroying this new dream of happy families, then? Don't worry. I'll think of some excuse. But I'm warning you now. Keep a clean mouth about Katie. Look, I've said I'm sorry. I know what you're trying to do, Robert. I'm telling you. You won't come between me and Dad. And you certainly won't force me off this farm. Don't know what you're on about. Don't you? <laughs> 